Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be my monthly empties for the month of July and I've got my little basket right here. We are in a different filming location. I'm actually in my living room, not in my bedroom. I don't know, I just felt a little more casual today. I don't have makeup on, like I just wanted to sit here in the living room. And if you can hear, we have a little guest staying with us. This is Daisy. She's getting comfy on the couch, but you can probably hear her collar, so I apologize for that. But anyways, um, let's just go ahead and get started on the empties. So I guess we'll start with the most interesting thing first, which is the only candle that I finished this month in July, which is unheard of for me because I've been finishing around like three to five candles a month for the past like year almost, or maybe the past six months at least. So yeah, July was a lot slower of a candle month for me. I just kind of was not feeling candles. Um, it's been pretty hot here and I was also gone for a week on vacation. So I just wasn't really burning candles, but I did finish up Homeworks Coconut Cake. This is not my favorite candle. I did do a review on it already, but it's toasted coconut, coconut milk, whipped cream, buttercream frosting and baked cake and pecan, lots of notes but it burned pretty well. It honestly burned amazing. Once it got to like, I would say like this point where it was kind of nearing the end, it did, did get like a very cloying, like burnt sooty smell. The wax never looked bad. Um, and I actually could have kept burning this one, but it's pretty close to the bottom. Like it's pretty much 100% used up, but it continued to burn, but it's just the smell now is like a little tainted. So, yeah, finished off this one, and that's the only candle that I finished all month long. Next, we'll get into some wax bars. I only finished off two. I finished off Scentsy's Vanilla Bean Buttercream, which is one of my all-time favorites, and Lemon Drizzle Cake, which I actually finished off, I believe this morning I finished the last one. So I did like this one. It was okay. Um, I don't know, Lemon is not like my favorite home fragrance scent, so that was this one. And then we did finish off two hand soaps. I finished Raspberry Jam which is sweet raspberry jam, fresh strawberries, and vanilla cake crumbs. Not my favorite. Um, it was just, it was like a jelly scent, which I should have expected, but I'm figuring out that I don't really like that. So yeah, not my favorite. And then mahogany teakwood, which Ryan finished in his bathroom and he adored it. It's one of our favorite hand soap scents of all time. So I will continue to repurchase this one. So even though it was a slow month for candles, it was a pretty good month for full-size body care. So I did finish off Sunshine Mimosa in the Moisturizing Body Wash. And this one, I really like the Moisturizing Body Wash formula. The notes are bright bubbly champagne and fresh citrus. It's basically like a orange champagne toast. That's what it smells like to me. Um, I wasn't feeling the scent, but I had so little left that I just put it in the summer project and finished it. So that is Sunshine Mimosa. And then we have Beach Nights in the Body Lotion. You guys know this is like my summer staple. It smelled so good. And we finished it off. Uh, I only had about this much left in July. So not a lot. One of my absolute all time favorite scents. You can see like the packaging was starting to turn brown and there's like this little glob, little bitty bit of body lotion I couldn't get out. Still left, but yeah, it was definitely starting to yellow. Even though this is from 2022, it's already turning bad. So yeah, that was Beach Nights though, and I absolutely adored it. And the last full size I have is Pure Wonder in the Exfoliating Glow Body Scrub. I really, really like this formula. I've started loving the Glow Body Scrub formula over the past couple of months, and Pure Wonder was really nice. The notes are Iced Rosé, Star Jasmine, and Warm White Amber. Smelled really, really amazing. Just like a fruity floral scent. And this packaging is really, really pretty. We'll definitely get something Pure Wonder again, and we'll definitely get another glowing body scrub. Now I do have some minis. I just finished off Strawberry Pound Cake in the hand cream a couple days ago. It was in my office, and I love Strawberry Pound Cake in the body care, so that was an easy finish for me. Also finished off Sol de Janeiro Coco Cabana Moisturizing Body Cream Cleanser. This is just the body wash in that set that I got, and I liked it. It was pretty like yummy smelling. It smelled like vanilla coconut, so that was nice. Um, but it wasn't my favorite formula. I feel like this wasn't very cleansing, which it's not supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be moisturizing, of course, because it's called the moisturizing cleanser. So yeah, but 
finish this one off and happy to have that done. And then Ryan actually finished a smoked old fashioned body wash. This one I got him for Christmas. I really liked how this one smelled on him. It had like a little like smoky woodsy note to it. Oh, it smelled really good. So I loved this one. I did finish off one pocket back hand sanitizer in mahogany coconut. Oh, this was such a good scent. Every time I put it on, I had somebody stop me and ask me what I was wearing and it was literally this, so. And then I also finished a replica beach walk little perfume mini. I think I really did like this one. I actually can't remember what I think of it, but I thought I liked this. I don't remember. And then we did also finish off one wallflower bulb and raspberries and vanilla. I bought like quite a few of these a while back at SAS. I think it was like $1.50 or something. And finally got through the last one. I do like it. It's just a nice like fresh and fruity scent. So that's this one. And then I finished off a couple skincare items and we're done. So I finished off a Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow PHA BHA Pore Tight Toner. This is my holy grail of skincare products. It makes your skin so glowy. I was without this for about five days or so. Sorry, I have to smell it. I should not smell a toner, but it smells like, um, like starburst gummies that's what it smells like but i was without this like i said for like five days and my skin was feeling so dehydrated and felt like more texturized so i definitely noticed a difference with this one and it's totally worth the price i go through it like water now though which sucks because it is a little more expensive and then i also finished off the ulta beauty watermelon sleeping mask i've been using this like maybe once or twice a week um, just to go to sleep as my like heavy duty moisturizer and I love it so much. So this one also kind of smells like the same smell as Glow Recipe and I believe this is a dupe of a different moisturizing glow mask. So I'll have to remember what the dupe is, um, but I would definitely buy this again. I actually already have another overnight mask that I'm using currently, but I would definitely consider getting this again. I think it was pretty cheap. I also finished off a Mary Kay Clear Proof Cleanser. This is just my go-to nightly cleanser. Love this stuff. Finished off a Milk Hydro Grip uh, Set and Refresh Spray. This is kind of gross now, but I actually really, really liked it. Um, I'm definitely going to try more from the Milk Makeup line. I've only tried this and their bronzer stick before, but I really, really enjoyed this. So I would definitely get it again. And I think I found it at TJ Maxx. So if I find more milk at TJ Maxx, which I, which I know that they've been showing up there more often, I would definitely buy more. And the last empty for the month of July is the Living Proof Scalp Care Dry Scalp Treatment. This is a holy grail for me for my scalp. I used to have like itchy um, eczema on my scalp and this helped so much. I did already repurchase it. I usually keep a backup of this one that I get during like the Sephora sale. So I love this stuff. It is so worth the price and it lasts a pretty long time. Like I think one tube lasts me like five to six months. So pretty good on this one. Okay, that is my quick little empties for the month of July. And that's everything for this video. So let me know down below some of your favorites from the month. Mine for sure would have to be beach nights in every single form. I might have to purchase a backup set for next summer on Mercari. Let me know if I should do that down below. I think I'm gonna do it though. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to fall. I cannot wait to change over to fall body care and all the fall clothing and stuff and for it to not be 100 degrees here in Texas. That would be really great. But that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.